good morning, Floss Tube. Happy Sunday from me and Grace. I'm Dot Dad Goose Design. Please don't judge my hair. I got out of the shower and I do. When I get out of the shower, I don't like to blow dry my hair because it gives me like frizzes and stuff. So I just kind of let it air dry. So, and then I, and then I go back and I do some combing and this and that. So anyways, I just wanted to sh um, tell you that, um, I do apologize for not being around for a while. Um, I have been super, super busy. My bags have been very popular and I thank each and every one of you guys for making that, um, my dream a success. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough. You know, I keep coming out with um, really cool bags and everybody seems to just absolutely love them. Uh, I am going to show them off a little bit today. Here's Miss Grace. Oh, there goes Miss Grace. She's gone. She says, I'm out of here, Mom. She watches the, um, sometimes if you guys are on my Instagram stories and I do Insta, I do um, uh, quick feeds. I call, I call them quick feeds. Um, quick live shots. And a lot of times she'll be sitting here at this window and looking out the window and looking at that at that um, tree because the birds hang out there. Oh my God, they are so cute. Um, watching those two, the birds, you know, they kind of like, hey, I know you're, there's a cat inside and then they have to tease her and oh my gosh, she's so funny. So, um, but I just wanted to thank you guys for making my dream a huge success. Uh, I am so excited about the upcoming spring. I have Easter bags. Um, I have, um, I have Easter bags. I have spring bags. I'll have summer bags. I'm going to do a series. So I'm going to only buy a, like trying to find this fabric with the, um, with the farm fabric was truly really, really hard to find. Um, after a while I had a hard time finding it. It seemed like everybody just absolutely loved it. Those bags just blew out the wind, blew out this window. <laughs> Um, I did have a really good, here, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Um, I did have a really successful, uh, February, January and February. So again, thank you so much for making my dream a reality. Again, please don't judge my hair. It is like a, a it's like, it's like a mess right now. And I really need to get my crown taken, crown taken care of. Um, <clears throat> Me and Grace love to watch Floss Tube. Um, I think what I'm going to start doing on my Instagram when I watch you guys on uh, Floss Tube, I am going to take a quick shot of both me and Grace watching you guys. Um, I did that with Rolodex Stitches this morning, and I'll tell you, she is fabulous. If you are not watching Rolodex Stitches, you're, you, you've got to turn her on. She is a hoot. I love her. She's Right now, her and her husband are, and her children, her family, she's got a cat. He's adorable. He, every once in a while, he's like, he's like Grace. He makes like this star appearance. <laughs> um, they are right now um, in Japan and listening to some of her stories is amazing. Um, I love her. Uh, please watch her. Um, and Java Girl Stitches, you guys know that you, she and I are like BFFs. I talk to her at least a hundred times a day and that's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> we do, um, she lives on the other side of the, of the United States. She is in Las Vegas. I am in the Midwest. I'm in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Go Pack Go. Um, and then, uh, so we get together maybe once or twice a year. And, but every day we talk to each other a hundred times a day. And that is sometimes, that's not enough. Uh, we, um, sorry. We also have, uh, I watch her. She she moved, so she moved this weekend. So she'll be um she'll be up and running again. She's got this really cool she shed. I don't know. Um, she said she was gonna do a um she said she was gonna do a tour of her she shed. So uh you know keep in keep, you know watch her. She's a huge success. Um, love every minute of her. If you guys are wondering about floss tubers, um, there's also um I also listen to the boys. I call them the boys. Um. Married with Stitches, it is Derek and Kristen, and those two guys are amazing. They do amazing work, finishes, and they also um, dye uh, fabric. And they every other Sunday they have a um, they have a auction. So please visit them, and they're they also have a Facebook page. They are um, uh, give me a minute, <laughs> Fortnite's fabric. So. 
because they love Fortnite. And I just think that's a hoot. So they every other Sunday they do um they do floss tube and then the other other Sunday that they don't, they do auctions on their on their um fabric because they dye fabric. I feel like I'm rambling blah 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 because I haven't been here for so long. Here's my light that I use. Sorry. And don't look at my ugly arm. Sorry. Stop judging. I'm judging myself enough. And then um uh, yesterday I actually had a chance to do some quilting, um, on my Instagram. I did show a couple of blocks. Um, oh yeah, floss tubers. I want to get back to that in a little bit. Um, I also found this really, um, fun guy to watch and his name is, mm, I should write all these things down because I'm really upset. Um, Bart Hopper, Bart, Bart Hopper, I think. I'll, I'll put them all below. Him and his wife live in Florida and they do a lot of park hopping. They go to uh, Universal Studios and they also go to Disney. And you know me, I love Disney. So um, huge. Di I'm a huge Disney freak. Um, I love Disney. As you can tell, some of my bags are even um, Disney related. I have the Orange Bird. I have Parks at Night. Uh, I have Mickey and Minnie in Paris. Um, I have also for the, for the, um, uh, Halloween, I have, um, Minnie Mouse Boo. She's adorable. Um, okay. And one more floss, um, tuber, um, tuber, I call them tubers, tubers that I watch. Um, she is a DIYer and it is, I think her channel is called My DIY. She is a hoot. I love her. She is from Poland. I and um, I just watched her last night and she is from Poland and she does, she buys stuff from the dollar store and a couple other dollar generals, you know, so, and then she finds a piece that she really, really likes. And then she, um, she brings it down. And so we can, you know, as, as people who like to craft, we, um, we like to save our money for other special things like retreats and new patterns and you know, things like that. So anyways, her channel is called The DIY or My DIY. She is adorable and she makes these really cool bowls. And Christy makes really nice bowls, but this woman also does a total different technique. And she calls them her, her bestie bows because she loves her besties. And she is a hoot. I love her. She is so, so cute. Her and her dog are adorable. Her dog's name is Coco. And Coco always dresses up in the um, in in what she is making. So like if she's doing buffalo check, she'll have a cute little buffalo check bow on Coco. And Coco is adorable. She is so cute. She got her last year, and I just feel like I know so much about her because I listened to her last night. And um, I also got a chance to watch live um, House of Stitches. She is awesome. Um, she taught me something last night. I'm going to try today on some of my cross stitch. She taught me how to, um, I think she called it the pin stitch. So I'm going to try the pin stitch. I'm a stitcher in hand. So I'm going to try that, um, tonight. Um, I do have a, I do have some, um, FFOs I want to show you. And I also have some whips I want to show. I have one whip I want to show you or a couple of whips actually. And then I do have an FFO. Um, I do have that. I want to show you some of my quilting because I also do quilt and I also want to show you some new bags. So, um, if you want to fast forward and, you know, and find out at the end, I am going to do some fun things for, um, leap year day and also March Madness. I'm doing those two things. And please, please, please follow us on our Facebook page. It is Java Girl Stitch, uh, dot, dot, goose design and Java Girl Stitches. I went with the alphabet at a alphabetical thing when I made that page. So dot dot goose is before Java girl stitches. Although Christy and Denise, Christy comes first, but you know, anyways, it was just complicated. So <laughs> it's a complicated relationship. <laughs> so anyways, um, uh, I have a, a couple of bags I want to show off. Um, this is my mug. I, I'm going to do a little drinking real quick and it's coffee. It's just coffee. Truly, it is. Maybe a little Bailey's in there, too. But shh. Anyways, don't tell Gracie because then, you know, she's my boss. Um, and she was just here before. So this is my Juki. I, um, I do all of my sewing on my Juki. 
And here's my window and outside my window, if you guys are familiar with me, I have a lake in the front. So I watch all the ducks and the geese and the birds. Right now the water is frozen and snow covered. So there is no ducks and geese, but there are crows and crows are starting to sing. And then uh, the morning birds are starting to, um, morning doves are starting to, to sing a little bit. That's what my daughter, she used to call them as morning birds. They're starting to sing a little bit. So spring is around the corner. And speaking of spring, I do have a spring collection. Um, I'm counting down to um, the first spring day, and that is March 21st. And I am counting down to that. Every Saturday morning, I am going to show off um, a spring collection bag. And I have all four um, collections. I might have a fifth one. It's beautiful. Um, the next the the first two are really pretty and they're almost sold out just so you guys know i'm really sorry um i'm not gonna buy a whole lot of fabric and then and then um i just want to make sure that everybody gets these and it, it kind of circles around i might have some extras at the end i might say oh yeah i have two extra bags and throw them out there so i do sell all of my dot dot goose design um bags at 25 dollars plus shipping so you do have to pay for shipping. I don't do the Etsy free shipping because then my prices of my bags will rise. So, um, and I don't want to put my, Good morning. that was my watch. <laughs> um, uh, so I don't want to raise my bags because of free shipping. And um, it's still relatively, you know, relatively inexpensive to send, to send them. They're usually about five, six bucks to send them. Um, usually um, if I feel like, you know that there is um there is a pr uh, price difference i may refund you money and then do it a cheaper way or have a, a better way of shipping it so if i feel like and anything oh i forgot and anything over a hundred dollars i do give free shipping that is where i do say okay free shipping at a hundred dollars so oh there goes bird um again don't judge me with my hair because i don't like to blow dry it um, okay, so here's the first bag, and it is, I just call it the um, Welcome Spring Edition. I don't have names for them because I just feel like these are going to be really quickly um, uh, sold out very fast. You know, come up, make them, sold out, sell them, those types of things. So this bag is the first, for the, first the first version. This was out last week, and this one is really pretty. It has cute little daisies on it. And I only have a few in stock right now, but these are really, really cute. Um, and it all they all come with the big zipper. I have the long tail, the long tab zippers. It all comes with that. And then it inside has the um, fabric. I don't quilt them, just so you guys know. I know um, I did get a review the other day saying that it's not quilted. I've never said that it is quilted. It is batted, there's batting on it, but I do not quilt it. Um, due to if I had to quilt it, it would also be an expense, uh, a little bit higher expense because it's a little bit more time consuming to quilt if you guys are familiar with quilting. So this is the first one and it's really cute on the inside and there's little daisies on the outside. And then there's this one. This one just came out yesterday and this one is really, really pretty. This one is, it's got those, um, I think they're called flutes. I can't remember, but they are really, really pretty. Look at the little um, flower on the inside. So that's the inside. The outside are roses and they're pinks and peaches and greens. And they are, it is, these are really, really pretty. These are gorgeous. I love these bags. The next bag for Saturday, um, I will give you a little hint. It's blue and red. Um, it's not a red, white, and blue one. Trust me, it's not, but it does have those colors. Um, I will, um, oh, and this fabric was um, called Ransom. Oh, Rhapsody. I think, I don't remember what the name of this one was, but I will check it out and put it below. And then, of course, there is the Farmhouse Picnic. Um, originally, it came out as the Farmhouse Love Bag. Um, these were very, 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 very popular. Like I said, I sold a lot. These were amazing. These, as soon as I had them out and people were showing them off, um, Shannon, Christine, um, she showed hers off. Um, uh, Christy showed hers off. People were showing off their bags and everybody wanted them. And these are now what I am selling because uh, the other, the backing for the, for the original bag is now sold out. And I am no longer able to get it because fabric does go out of, um, out of um, production. 
So I'm really sorry if um, if you guys wanted the pink with red. I still have some fabric, very, very little. So if you guys order them, now is the time to do it because come, you know, six months from now, I will not have that, um, have that um, flower. Or I will not have the, um, the farmhouse. I probably won't even have this fabric. You know, I, I don't know. Like I said, um, I'm, I'm getting, um, I still have enough of these and I do make um, really cool. I wanted to show these guys. I do make, if you guys don't want to, um, get a um, bag from me or if you don't want to, you know, if you don't want a bag from me, I don't like this light here. Okay. I'm going to take this away. Sorry. But if you don't like the bag and you want to try something from me and you want to just see how my sewing is or the quality, um, these are really cool. They're called project pals and you can put your needles on them. This is a, a wool and it is wool. I buy the wool and it is very expensive. A little itty bitty piece of wool is like 30 bucks. So I do buy the wool because, um, it is very nice wool. I don't like, I've tried some other wool. I tried some other stuff from Joann's thumbs down. Sorry, Joann's, but that is, I, I'm, I don't, I try not to buy too much from Joann's, but there are some things I do get from Joann's. Um, there is some good quality stuff. Um, I really have to dig for it and I still have to look for it. But this is a, a, a pal and these are really cool. You can put your needles on here and, and the thread sticks to it. Trust me, thread does stick to it. See, thread sticks to it. Mm -hmm. It does. Trust me, it does. Um, I'm always pulling thread off of it. So this is like a bat, the batting. And then um, I stick it onto a, like a really um, flexible, not a flexible, but a kind of a really cool type of fabric on the inside. So, um, it is really, really fun to make. I love these. Um, oh, hey, Gracie, here she comes. Hi. 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 Come up and say hi to everybody. Come on. If there's not a tree, hey, I see a bird. <laughs> she loves when I do that. See what I tell you? There she is. Hello, Miss Gracie. There's her tail. Hi. Now she has to look for the bird. Yep. Oh, yeah. There she goes. I'm sorry. Did I disappoint you? I know. Hi. Sorry. Here she is. Here's her spots. She's so soft. I'm sorry. Here's her cute collar. You got a little snowman on there. I should change yours to Easter because I have a Easter. Oh, did you see that? There was a bird. Oh my gosh, go get him. Looky, looky. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Did you just, no. Okay, nobody wants to see that. Come on. When I want you here, I want you there, not here. <laughs> sorry. First green. <laughs> she took a shower with me today. So that is her thing. She loves to take a shower with me. Believe it or not, a cat who likes water, she loves water. As soon as I turn on the faucet, she's like right there. Hello, mom. I need a shower. I'm like, okay, here you go. She'll go underneath the shower. She's cute as a button. Anyways, here's my project pal. So here is, um, and I also have a new Q-Step, Cam Snap um, Press Presser. And um, it does hold the, um, for a while, the snaps were starting to come off. Some of the customers say that the snaps came off. So if they are, if your snaps are coming off, please let me know. I will send you a new one. Um, I do ask for a photo. So I know that, um, that it, sorry, here she comes. So, yep. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Grace. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Goo Goo. She has many names. Gracie, Miss Gracie, Princess. Nobody wants to see that. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, and Goo Goo. So she's, sometimes she's Gracie Goo Goo. So sometimes you'll see her all over the place. And of course, she's got to show you her tail. She's got this really thick tail. Yeah, she does. So, okay. So here's my project pal. I have a new cam snap presser. Um, like I said, if, if I have a certain date of when I had the old press and now the new press and she, um, sorry, she's so cute. <laughs> I want to go over there and kiss her face. <laughs> I want to come over there and kiss your face. Um, so if your snaps are coming off, let me know. I will be happy to send you another one. Um, but I do expect, I, I do would like to have you show me a picture of it. So I know which side is coming off. 
so I can kind of figure out what side is good, what side is bad. So a lot of times people have sent them to me. So I do look at every one of them. It is a quality control thing. So I do look at them. Oh gosh, she's so funny today. Um, and here is the other side. So I put my um, my cute little label on the back and it's it irons on really cute with the heart. And then it also has a cam snap with a heart. Isn't that cute? I just think that's so cute. And the other side is round. So when you snap it, this is what you see. You see the one with the cute little, cute little heart. Mm -hmm. And it comes apart. So then when you put it in your bag, you have all your needles, your threads, your scissors, everything is safe in here. So when you throw it in the bottom of the bag, of, the, of your project bag, nothing gets lost. So this way, when you go traveling or you go to your mom's or you go um, on a retreat, nothing gets lost. So this way, then you're not digging for a needle way on the bottom of the bag and you can't see it. That's why I like to leave my bags as clear as possible so you can see what's actually on the bottom. Some bag makers make those really big um, 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 flaps on the bottom. I do not because for one thing, um, then you can't see what's on the bottom of the bag. I have to see what's on the bottom of the bag. It's kind of like Tupperware. I need to see what's inside the Tupperware. I got to see what's growing in my refrigerator. Oh my God, it's almost 20 minutes. Okay, so I'll make this really fast. So here is my Bloomtopia. We are on week two. Okay. I know Grace is really excited. Here's my, okay, so here's week one, here's week two, here's week three, and release four. I am up to release four. I am a test stitcher for Fat Quarter Shop. Thank you very much, Kimberly and the whole crew over there. Thank you for asking me. I am having a ball with this. I am stitching it on 25 count Lugana. It is, I think it's great. I'm not really good at knowing what fabrics um, all my stuff is. I'm really, really sorry, but this is Lugana. Love it. I was a really avid um, Ada, Ada stitcher. I love Ada, but Lugana is my second best too. So these are coming in. in um, the release is coming up, I think on Wednesday, maybe Friday. That's when Kimberly is going to do it from Fat Quarter Shop. Uh, the next release and the next release is the one with the basket and the four corners. So that's this one. Okay. So that is, my, and it also comes in a really cool bag. I, I really do like bags. So I don't just like my bags. I like a lot of bags. And this is the Bloomtopia bag. It also, I also bought the keychain with it. So I put that on there. I also have the, um, what else did I get in that? See, I can't see what's on the bottom of the bag. I'm having problems with sand. Hmm. Okay, so on, oh, here's something way on the bottom. Ooh, that's, oh, I didn't realize I had that. Okay. Um, oh, here. And here is also the um, needle minder. I don't use the needle minder. I have to, I will be using the needle minder um, very soon because um, I need it for, um, I'm going to make a, um, I'm going to make a pal for the Bloomtopia. And then I also am doing, I decided I wanted to do the quilt for Bloomtopia. It is, um, it's Fat Quarter Shop. It is, um, all proceeds go to Make-A-Wish and I love Make-A-Wish because I've seen Make-A-Wish kids, um, at Disney and they treat those kids like prince and princesses. It is so cool. Um, at first hand, I have seen it. It is, it is really beautiful. So anyways, I am now making the Bloomtopia quilt. So here is the over and under quilt. Don't look too close. Nothing really matches really well. I'm not, I'm not a, I, I used to quilt many years ago and then I stopped, but here is the um, over and under bag. Um, today I'm also going to show off on my quick clips. I'm going to show you a, also a, a quilt that I um, started a couple years ago, but I want to finish it. I want to quilt. I want to send it to a, um, my quilter. I want to send it to her as soon as possible. I want it on my bed because it reminds me a lot of spring. And it's called the, I don't remember what it's called. So, okay. So then I am also stitching. This is another, oh, this is that first edition of the farmhouse bag. Um, the, this is the fabric that is really super duper hard to, um, hard to find. Um, I am sewing spring home, spring home from 
This is as much as my printer would print today. Um, Christine Shannon, or Shannon, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wow, I'm dyslexic today. Shannon, dis, Shannon, Christine, and I am doing the um, Spring Home. Um, it is really, really a cute pattern. Um, I really like it. And I also bought the DMC um, conversion because she only does, she, um, she does DMC conversion a lot because um, because she is very frugal and I really appreciate that. Thank you, Shannon. And she has marvelous, marvelous patterns. I love them, but this is my whip and I started this and, um, okay. So if you guys want to see my back, here's my back. This is my back. Okay. And this is my front. So it's a birdhouse and there's, it says home sweet home, I think on it. And it's really, really, and I'm using the 25 count Lugana. Um, love this piece. Love, love, love it. I, uh, this was one day, one night of stitching when I was watching, uh, floss tubers and picking on, cat, on the cat because she always sleeps in front of the fireplace. She is so cute. So, okay. So it's 25 minutes. I want to wrap it up and I want to be really quick about it because and next week will be leap year day. And that is the, uh, that's to me, that's like an extra day. It's like, oh my God, I have a whole extra day. Every four years, I get one extra day to do something fun. And I plan on doing some sewing, some quilting. I don't plan on doing any work. Um, I might throw in a couple of new bags, but um, if you guys want to um, stitch along, sew along with me, I'm going to call, I got to find a hashtag for it. And then um, I'm going to do something. Um, I'm going to probably stitch this. My Bloomtopia, I might even do the Bloomtopia quilt. Here's my quilt block over and under. I love this piece. Um, I did the, um, I want to be really quick about the Bloomtopia. I did get my, when I got my fabric, I starched the hell out of it. I mean, I literally soaked it in starch. That's the first time I've ever done that. And I really, really like the way it turned out. It's very, um, it's real crisp. And um, I find that um, my lines are a lot crisper. So, um, on leap year day, I plan on doing stitching and sewing. That's next Saturday. And another thing I want to do is I want to start a, because I used to do this at work all the time, I used to do brackets for March Madness. Now, if you guys are familiar with March Madness, it is college basketball. I am not a basketball watcher. The only thing I watch is the college NCAA college on that Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That whole weekend, I plan on stitching. So I plan on doing a stitching using a hashtag. I think that Carla uh, Rolodex Stitchers says there's a, a hashtag that I'm going to, um, I'm going to start pushing because I want to get in there. I want to get into it. So I thought about making a bracket if, or if you know anybody else who has a bracket made or start, I will be happy to get into it. If it's money involved. Yes. If it's prizes. Yes, I am in. So let me know. I don't know anything about basketball. All I know is that Wisconsin Badgers, I'm hoping makes the brackets because I love them and I always pick them to win. <laughs> so there you go. Now you know. That's my theory. I don't care. I just, I, that's like the Packers. I love them. I will stick by them. And that's the way it is. So that is my two things. And um, I probably forgot a million other things. I want to start doing um, floss tube every other week. The week that Christy doesn't do it, that's when I'm going to jump in and be here. So please follow me. Please follow um, Miss Gracie and I on Instagram. <laughs> Here's your spot. Boop, boop, boop. Um, please follow us. We um, follow us on our Insta stories where that little bubble is on the way on the top. Follow us there. Like us there. Um, I show off a lot of her fun things that she likes that she does. Um, she likes to sleep in front of this um, fireplace, like as close as possible. She is so cute. And um, I am also like Carla from Rolodex Stitches. I love animals. I think any animals in a floss tube are the coolest thing. I think it, it just cracks me up all the time when they just appear. It's like, fun. it's like Grace. Ah, here's my fur. <laughs> it's like, really, Miss Grace? You just crack me up. I just love her. So, and I still have a bell on her, but somehow she can, she knows how to run. She knows how to use that bell and not use the bell. And she always scares me. And she's like, yeah, here I am. So she is cute as a button. So thank you so much for following me and watching me today. And thank you for, um, for, um, 
for buying my bags and um, following me. I, I don't know what else to say. I've got a million things to say, but I am gonna have a, um, a tutorial on how I do my stitching. I stitch really slow, even though I stitch in hand. I don't stitch really fast because I'm still trying to get used to the Lugana squares. And now I'm gonna try the pin stitch and a couple other stitches that um, um, House and Stitch um, house and stash, stash and ho house and stash. I'm really bad today. Um, that taught me last night. So thank you very much and have a great Sunday. See you guys.